Minister amends Foreign Contribution Regulation Act. Union Home Ministry has amended the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act. The amended rule now allows relatives to send 10 lakh rupees without informing the government. If the amount exceeds, the individuals will now have three months to inform the government against 30 days earlier. The rule also gives more time to the organizations to inform the government about opening of bank accounts. PM Modi to inaugurate Digital India Week 2022 in Gandhinagar. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate Digital India Week 2022 in Gandhinagar in Gujarat on the 4th of July 2022. During the program, he will launch multiple digital initiatives aimed at enhancing the accessibility of technology, streamlining service delivery to ensure ease of living and giving a boost to startups. The theme for Digital India Week is catalyzing new India's decade. NHA felicitates 1,000 doctors for work under PMJ. The National Health Authority, NHA, felicitated around 1,000 doctors for their work under the Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arugya Yojana, a PMJ scheme, in July 2022. It also announced Ayushman Bharat Utkrisht Chikitsik Samman, Ayushman Bharat Utkrisht Chikisali Samman, and Ayushman Bharat PMJ Fellowship. All these awards will be conferred in September 2022. MSDE launches DBT scheme to extend direct monetary support. The Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship has announced that National Apprenticeship Promotion Scheme will be a part of direct beneficiary transfer DBT scheme. Earlier companies used to pay apprentices the entire amount and then seek reimbursement from the GOFT. With the launch of the DBT scheme, the GOFT will directly transfer its contribution to bank accounts of apprentices. NTPC Renewable Energy Limited signs Mao with Rajasthan Government. NTPC Renewable Energy Limited NTPC Rail has signed an Mao with Government of Rajasthan for development of 10 gigawatts ultra mega renewable energy power park in Rajasthan. NTPC Group has set its target of 60 gigawatts renewable energy capacity by 2032. Additionally, NTPC Rail has entered into a joint venture agreement with DVC for developing re parks and projects. National Day of Cooperatives, the 2nd of July. International Day of Cooperatives is marked annually on the first Saturday of July. For 2022, the day was observed on the 2nd of July. The theme for 2022 is Cooperatives Build a Better World. The day is being marked by cooperatives worldwide since 1923 and was officially proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly on the centenary of the ICA International Cooperative Alliance in 1995. Preet Bumrah creates world record for scoring most runs. Just Preet Bumrah on the 2nd of July 2022 smashed the most number of runs in an over in a test cricket match. He achieved this record during the fifth and final test against England at Edgbaston in Birmingham. He achieved this record during the fifth and final test against England at Edgbaston in Birmingham. European Union conclude first round of trade negotiations. India and the European Union concluded the first round of negotiations for India-EU trade and investment agreements in New Delhi on 1 July 2022. 52 technical sessions covering 18 policy areas of the Free Trade Agreement and 7 sessions on investment protection and geographical indicators were held. The second round of negotiations is scheduled to take place in September 2023 in Brussels. RBI releases publication, deposits with scheduled commercial banks. The RBI released the web publication, deposits with scheduled commercial banks or Endish, March 2022, on its database on Indian Economy, DBIE portal in June 2022. Bank deposit growth YOY moderated to 10.0% in March 2022 as compared with 11.9% a year ago. Current, savings and term deposits increased by 10.9%.
13.3% and 7.9%, respectively, during 2021-22. IWF chooses Mohammad Jalud as President 2022. The International Weightlifting Federation, IWF, has elected Mohammad Jalud from Iraq as the president. He has become the first Asian president in the IWF's history. Jalud, one of 11 candidates for the presidency, was a weightlifter himself for 13 years. He is the former general secretary of the Asian Weightlifting Federation. Jaws or Ekert, 